Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with Active Directory Migration Tool Project videos. These videos are in uh, different parts where you could see that I will create a source domain and a target domain. As you can see here, source.com will be my source domain and target.com will be my target domain where I am going to migrate users from source to target and also I will migrate groups, I will migrate computers, I will migrate service accounts and etc. A member server will be joined to source.com domain first then I will migrate that member server towards a target domain so eventually that member server will be migrated to target domain with a SQL SQL server installed uh, running with a service account. So service account and member server will be migrated at target 2. So you will see in this video I am going to promote two brand new domain controllers. As you can see on the top here I have a source DC this is a work group now but it eventually will become a domain controller source.com i am going to use a source ny.com uh, source ny will be actually a net bias name then i will create a target domain this will be a target dc target uk will be net bias name so let's go and do practically this all work as I see here on my physical server, you have two Hyper-V servers for now, which I am going to work in this video. Source is a host name, which is in a work group right now. I have installed Active Directory binaries offline. So I am going to promote this source domain or source host. Uh, as a new domain controller. So this will be a name of my domain source.com. I am choosing a new forest. You can keep Windows Server 2016 domain functional level and Windows Server 2016 a forest functional level. So I will keep this uh, domain as a DNS and a global catalog server. I am going to use a common password which is a complex password for this environment for this domain. We can just choose here a net bios name because my host name is source my domain name is source.com so it is very obvious that you see a source 0 is a default net bias name. I am going to change it to source ny. So source ny will be my source domain's net bias name. When I go to target, I selected a target host name and target uk will be my target domain name. So I am going to leave all default options for my NTDS files, prerequisites. This check is going to pass and you simply click on install. This time I will let it go and install as normal mode. Uh, at this source domain and I am going to use target site with a fast forward to save your time. So here you are going to install DNS and all required partitions for Active Directory. This server will be rebooting now. So as I said in my small pop-up note, see you after a reboot. So I just have rebooted this server. I am going to log in back. Source NY, as I said that source NY is my net bias name. Source.com is my active directory name. When you go into active directory, you will see a source.com. So it will take a while 
to refresh my server manager page once you see there is no red marks on a server manager window most likely you are good here now you can see source is a computer name and source.com is a domain name let's go into active directory users and computers so this is a brand new fresh domain you won't see anybody customized i meant uh, anybody i did not actually create any user so you will see all built-in accounts member one is a member of this domain not yet but i'm going to join this member which is also running a windows server 2016 operating system this time it is a workgroup environment so we can go ahead and change settings make sure you set up a network appropriately before you do this all ip scheme has to be in the same network and every member server will be using a preferred dns server as your existing domain so that is what was configured offline and since that was so basics so i did not record it all so it is very uh, simple that you can set up a small network where you have your work group and your domain now i was able to join this member server to source.com under computers container we should be able to see now that host we just joined to the domain so the host name was a member server here we go we have a member server available now that also indicates we should have a dns record in our dns server so let's go and take a look the dns record for that server once that server reboots and when once we see a control alt delete screen we should be able to see a host record in dns so now we do have a source a record and we do have a member one a host record so we are good to go we are all set so we do have a domain source.com we do have a member server uh, this member server, server will become later on a SQL server. I will use a SQL server and that will be running under a service account. I will tag this server through ADMT and I will tag all uh, service accounts from this server then I will migrate this server. So this is a long series but I am going to and I am prefer to make some short videos not a very long video so in this video I'm just going to create a source domain and a target domain this is my work group at target I am going to add roles and features in this domain at target site I did not install my ADD, ADDS binaries I'm installing now so that is the first thing you do and that that is how I did this all in my source domain so my source domain was done offline with ad binaries my target i have done it now in front of you so you can see that how i have started or i had started my source domain so this is my target domain i am done with my ad binaries you can set up this as a dc so this will be my target.com domain as i said before the target dot com domain is a domain name but uh, i will have a target uk as a net bias name so i am going to select target dot com for my target domain where i am going to migrate a lot of users i will create 5000 users in my source domain through powershell in video 2 uh, this is a video 1 then i will migrate approximately 1000 members from source to target domain so i am promoting this server as a domain controller i will leave my windows server 2016 
forest functional level and i will also leave my windows server 2016 domain functional level dns is not optional it is a part of active directory once you run this visit dns comes with it you have to install it global catalog server is a search engine of active directory where you can search objects within the forest so you have a choice to keep them as a global catalog server you can make it a global catalog server later on and whatever uh, customization you want to do you can do it my net bias name that i am going to use as target uk so you are going to migrate from source ny like new york to your target location which is in uk for example you acquired a new domain you are going to merge this domain or you want to migrate your existing source users to the target so here i am going to run the prerequisites and then i will run active directory installation here I will click on install and we'll keep it a little fast forward so because you know this is a very simple process and you know how this process runs so prerequisites is taking a little time it took about few seconds extra but here we can save a little time so I can just do a fast forward so you are just starting adding this active directory at target so we have a source and we have a target so you will create couple of thousand users through powershell you will you want to dump those users in your source domain and you will pick some users you are gonna create some uh, global groups some universal groups and you are going to make some users members of those groups here we go we got target uk available i am going to log in at my target domain so this was just an environment so you have to know that we need to set up a two-way transitive trust for that i am going to set up my dns zones at source i will add a target zone uh, most likely we can use a stub zone a secondary zone and condition forwarder so i am going to use condition forwarder uh, at my source from target and at target from source so here we have a new domain target.com above you see my email in case if you want to have any kind of script ADMT download, password migration tool. I can set up a Dropbox as I said before in my couple of videos so you guys can uh, use directly all executables uh, from a Dropbox link. So this is my target environment and I'm going back to my uh, source and target. So to let you know that my member one is a member server. So this is a little bit overview of my initial document where you can see initially what i am planning to do so i did number one i did number two i am going to do number three in my second video and i will go and create some global and universal groups also and i will download admt active directory migration tool 3.2 uh, with a by password migration dll dynamic link libraries and then I will install actually ADMT on my target domain directly. I will install SQL Server on my target domain directly. And also I will install SQL Server on my member server. So when I migrate, that SQL will be running a, uh, a service account with it. So you will see that SQL actually is migrated as well. So 
this was a brief about my source and my target and i am running a hyper v environment where i am having those two domains and where this migration will take place this is my host pc so you own the host i am running this source and target so let's uh, take a look on uh, a brief look on my current document where you can see here this uh, is a note which indicates that we have completed uh, source.com and then target.com which is uh, basically a, a recorded video as of now and then i have done some other videos as well uh, i added 5000 users at source domain in video 2 and you will see here uh, whatever was done in video 2 and you will see sql server stuff done in video 3 and you will see uh, migration was 1000 users is not done actually now uh, member server migration was not done yet so far and uh, this sql server was done also in video 3 and we will merge some accounts is the merging for high uh, level accounts uh, not done yet and uh, this is done already uh, admt installation tool and i installed pes uh, as well i installed pes dynamic link libraries as well in video 5 and i did create a local group with a net bios name of dollar 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 at my uh, uh, source domain in video 5 i i modify the registry and i have done also uh, uh, forest trust between source and target domain in video 6 i have used this command to create 5000 users and uh, i have done uh, this all uh, condition forwarders uh, in source and the target domain in video 6 so this was just a brief for you and eventually you will be able to see all uh, video parts uh, uh, so you can uh, watch uh, those all so it was just a briefly uh, a look for you guys and i hope you will like these videos and this whole video series we are gonna do from a to z everything and uh, thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next video which will be my admt part 2 thank you